Hi guys and welcome back to Beauty Fortified and welcome to my MAC makeup series part 3. If you have missed parts 1 and 2 I will leave links to them down below. And today I'm talking about makeup for people with cool skin undertones. Now if you don't know what your skin undertone is I have also left links to some resources in the description box below where you'll be able to see videos that will give you a good idea as to what your undertone is. And your undertone informs all the colors and different palettes that suit you. So once you know what your skin undertone is it makes it a lot easier when picking out makeup shades and today we're focusing on makeup shades for people with cool skin undertones and I'm specifically sticking to the MAC brand and I've chosen MAC because it's a brand that I know quite a lot about it's quite an accessible brand it falls somewhere between drugstore and high end so it's a great compromise it's not as expensive as your Dior's and Chanel's but it still is very very good quality by and large and a lot of the things that I'm sharing with you today are great for mature skin as well. So we're going to start off with the eyes and I've chosen four shades for you and now this is by no means an exhaustive um, overview of everything that they have. I've gone into the brand and I've looked at spe sp specific things that will suit people with cool undertones and uh, things that are real kind of best sellers. So for the eyes I've chosen two matte shades and two frost shades and the matte shades that I've chosen now you would if you were starting out in makeup for instance you would probably only need one matte and one frost or shimmer if uh, that was your preference but I've given you two of each from which to choose. Now your matte shade is going to be your crease shade so it's going to be what you put into your crease just to define your crease and give your eyes a little bit of definition. And the two that I have for you today this one over here is charcoal brown which is a kind of mid-toned brown and then the one next to it is quarry which is a kind of beigey purpley taupe. So these are really really great shades for people with cool skin undertones and I'm a neutral undertone so if you are a neutral then you kind of have the best of both worlds. So what I have on my lids today in the crease I do have Quarry and Quarry is a shadow that I have purchased time and time again. It's just an absolute staple in my kit and I really really love it. And then if you wanted to add a pop of color to your mobile lid I've got two shades that would be suitable and uh, the one is called a velvet and the other one I think is called a frost. Can't read this for the life of me. But the one that I have here is Trax. Now this is a beautiful kind of duochrome purpley shade. I'm just going to see. I'll swatch it for you. There we go. So it really is a beautiful. Um, I, I can't really describe the color. But it really is gorgeous for cool undertones and then the other one I have is a shade called satin taupe and this is a very well known one as well and it's a kind of silvery taupe so if you wanted to stick to the neutrals but you wanted something a bit more taupey for the lid then I would suggest satin taupe and so what I have on my mobile lid today is I have a little bit of the tracks um, topped off with a little bit of satin taupe just because I wanted to wear as much as many of these makeup products today as possible but I think that uh, they really do make for a beautiful eye look and really really great for cool skin tones. And then moving on to blush of course blush is something that MAC does particularly well and I've picked out four uh, different ones for you. I've got two mattes, I've got a cream blush and then I've got one of their baked mineral blushes. So we'll start off with the cream blush and this is from their range called the Glow Play range and um, these are absolutely beautiful cream blushes. They really just blend beautifully and of course cream blush is very very flattering on mature skin. So the one that I've picked out for you today is called Blush Please and it's a kind of mid-tone neutral pink but really is beautiful if you do have a cooler undertone and I just swatched a little bit there for you so hopefully you can pick that up but it really is just an absolutely stunning shade 
And then moving on to the powder blushes. So the first one that I have here is called Blush Baby. And I mentioned this in my video for warm uh, skin undertones because this is a kind of neutral which would really suit a lot of uh, skin undertones. So whether you're warm, neutral or cool, it is just a beautiful, they describe it as a beigey pink. And it really is a lovely, more kind of neutral blush. So if you're not looking for anything to wow or out there, I would recommend this one. And then another one which is absolutely beautiful, another matte, is called Pink Swoon. And it is the one that I have on today. And it's just absolutely gorgeous. It's more of a blue pink. Hopefully you can pick that up in the lighting but it really is just absolutely stunning and this is from their sheer tone range and their sheer tone range is uh, very very sheer so they're great for mature skins and they just blend really really beautifully and a, a blue toned pink can be very deceiving so it can look really bright and out there but in fact um, they really are beautiful it just gives you a lovely flush of color and of course you can wear it as sheer as you want to or you can build it up so really really beautiful from that point of view and then the other one that i have for you is the baked mineral blush and this is in the shade petal power and i also have this one on today over the pink swoon it has got a little bit of a shimmer to it and it's just great to really make the cheeks come alive perfect for cooler skin tones and there it is in the pan. So you see it does have a little bit of a sheen to it. And their baked mineral blushes are just absolutely beautiful. And again, very, very flattering on the skin. And now onto lipsticks, I have got three for you. I've got a matte, I've got a luster, and I have got a satin. So the first one I'm gonna talk about is the matte one. And it is called Myrrh, and it is the one that I have on my lips today. And I have lined my lips with the lip liner in the color Saw. So this is a kind of mid-toned pink and really does go with a lot of different lipstick shades. So that's it over there. And then Myrrh being a matte, it's a really, really gorgeous matte. I do find that the MAC mattes are very wearable. They don't dry out your lips and they're just really lovely. So it is more of a blue-toned pink for people with cooler skin tones and just really is lovely. So it is one of my favorite mattes from MAC. And then the next one that I have here is from the Luster Range and it is in the shade Capricious. Now the Luster Range I've spoken a lot about, it's very comfortable to wear on the lips. They don't bleed into lip lines and they do have a little bit of a shine to it. So there's Capricious there and you can see it does pull a little bit purple. So it is perfect for cooler skin tones. And then the last one I have is from the Satin Range and it is in the shade Brave. So these are all uh, quite neutral or muted pinks. So these are the pinks that you could wear to work every day. They really are just kind of everyday beautiful muted colors. And that is Brave over there. So you can see how it compares to Capricious. It does have quite a lot of blue in it. And so it's just an absolutely beautiful color for people with cooler skin tones. So guys, those would be my recommendations for people with cool skin tones. If you are starting out in makeup or you're consolidating your makeup and you need a little bit of guidance as to where to start, I hope that you found this video helpful. Please let me know if there's anything that I've missed out, if there's anything that a cool skin toned person absolutely has to have please leave me a comment down below i'd love to hear from you i am going to leave you with a link to my mac playlist and there you will be able to see more in-depth reviews on some of the products that i've spoken about if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up please don't forget to subscribe and i will see you next time ciao ciao